Hello and welcome to Midlands Today with Suzanne Verdi and Daniel Pallet. The headlines tonight. Parents have been protesting over plans to change the way school nurseries are run. They claim some could be closed or privatised. Yes, but despite parents' concerns, the local authority insists there will be no cuts in funding. Kevin Reid reports. And that's really good news, isn't it, for Blues fans after they lost, of course, Joe Hart back to Man City. Well, the player of the season, the fans and the club knew straight away was a priority to get in a new goalkeeper, so they've done it. And I think Ben Foster's looked at Joe Hart, who's in the same position. He was on the subs bench of Manchester tonight. Hart wasn't getting a game at Man City, so he thinks, well, if he can go to the Blues, have a good season and get back in the World Cup frame, because, of course, Joe Hart's come there, had a great season, mm. and um, Ben Foster's been on the substitutes bench at Manchester United. Because he was, Ben Foster was in the England squad, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, and the start of last season, he was first choice, made a couple of mistakes, been put to, put to the back, so he's thinking, well, if I can do a Joe Hart, play for the Blues, have a good season, could be an England goalkeeper and you again. think most Blues fans think this is a good signing, yeah? Yeah, and important as well after losing Hart to get a good goalkeeper yeah. in. Yeah. Then go shopping in the World Cup, perhaps, if there's the money. Yes, of course. indeed. Anyway, for the past year, a dis disabled riding centre has been forced to rely on handouts from well-wishers just to keep its horses alive. The facility was opened by the late comedian Larry Grayson, but lately it's been beset by a series of disasters. Bob Hockenhall has been finding out what's being done to try to save a much cherished tar charity. Try saying that. <laughs> Now I've got my teeth fixed, so we'll try this one, shall we? It's the Shropshire Town which inspired the modern Olympics. Today, much Wenlock's back in the news. The reason why is a bit hush-hush at the mm, moment, it isn't is, it? Well, it Ben is. Sidwell's there. Can you explain a bit more, Ben? Indeed, he's such a tease, isn't he? Well, Such we've been teased all the way through. Yeah. If you want to finally see what those mascots look like, stick Before with the BBC. 10, yeah. They're on the one show, straight after us, and you finally see it. We've had no sneak previews. No, we haven't us. got a clue, so we can't help you on that. Sorry about that. Let's uh, find out what the weather's going to be like. Though. It looks lovely today. That's all from us this evening. But on tomorrow's Midland State, we'll be revealing how Birmingham plans to make its case to be the first UK city of culture. Yeah, and we'll be with the campaigners fighting to save Hartlebury Castle in Worcestershire from falling into private hands. So join us for that, won't you, if you can, tomorrow, same time, 6.30. For now, have a great evening, won't you? Bye-bye.